We're still following that breaking news, of course, this morning on the eruption at Kilauea. It started at around 1230 this morning. To tell us more, we are speaking live with Ken Hahn from the USGS. Now, Ken, we understand this is not a threat to the public, first of all. And second of all, how can we see it, whether it's through a webcam or in person? Well, um, it, no, it is not a threat to anybody or any infrastructure out where it is. It's in a remote, hard to access and kind of nasty part of the park with a lot of faults and fractures and things out there. Um, it was a real difficult challenge to see it. This was a real sneaky eruption. We started tracking it about noon yesterday. We woke up to a very quiet, peaceful Sunday morning. About noon, all of our seismometers started to hit the gas. <laughs> and then by three o'clock, they were floorboarded pretty much. The seismometers were going pretty nuts around the summit. And uh, that stayed on until about 6 o'clock at night. And then about 8 p.m., um, we saw a major deflation. And it wasn't clear where the lava went that was had been inflating that area kind of south of Kalua Pele or south of Halima'uma'u. Uh, we found out at about <laughs> 1 in the morning when a very astute, the night manager at Volcano House, Crystal, uh, <laughs> sent us a picture of an eruption. So this thing was very sneaky. And what we think it did was, remember, we had a big intrusive event out there at the end of January, beginning of February. Mm. This pressurized the system. And what we think it did was just make a liquid connection to that stuff that was in place a couple months ago and force that to the surface. So it did that without creating any earthquake trail over to where it popped up out of the ground. So it was a it was a real interesting, slow developing and very sneaky kind of eruption that we had. So <laughs> snuck up on so you and now your cell phone is going ground. off. Yeah. Yeah. Ken, how about this? We're hearing that it's erupting in a spot where it hasn't erupted since 1974. Anything really interesting about that? Anything concerning? Uh, nothing concerning at all. It is interesting. This is an area that that is the only the 1974 and this eruption are the only two eruptions in the last 250 years out in this region. So it's very rare for lava to erupt there. Um, the January 31, we know went out there and cracked the ground. So we know it got within probably about uh, 500 yards of the surface or something in January. Um, but to have this eruption go out there, we're also not sure because we knew that know that that lava actually made it further to the south and connected with Kilauea's southwest rift zone um, in January underground. So. We're suspicious of this eruption. It could be really short-lived, like the, the December 1974 eruption only went for six hours. Um, but it was much more voluminous than this eruption. This eruption so far hasn't pushed much out onto the surface. Um, and the, the jury is still out on how long it's going to last out there. So, Ken, for people who are curious and want to see some activity at the eruption site, are they going to be disappointed? Are they going to be able to see a glow? Well, the best views, ironically, were right up at the visitor areas, like around Volcano House and Uikuna Bluff. Um, they took much better pictures than our web cameras out in the field. Mm. And uh, so, you know, where you see the glow is at either one of those two places around Volcano House or Uikuna Bluff will be good places for viewing the glow. Yeah, and just a warning, just if you're going to go out there, be safe and show aloha. Uh, Ken Han from USGS, thanks for your time this morning. Appreciate it. No problem. Thank you, guys. All right, 720.